Stranger Things Season 2. I'll easily go on a limb here and say that Season 1 of Stranger Things was the best Netflix-produced show I ever had the pleasure of watching. It brought us mystery, drama, suspense, and horror all bundled up in this 80s-styled show. Now Season 2 did very much the same, except it had a lot less mystery and horror, instead largely substituting it for more action instead. And hey, I love my action in my TV shows, but let's be honest, who really watches Stranger Things for the action? Now of the mystery and horror elements being mostly absent in Season 2, the show did seem to drag on in a few episodes, especially the episode where Eleven goes to Chicago, which is not something I can say for Season 1, where I was glued to the screen every single episode and just had to watch the next one right after. Not only was there horror and mystery, but also this incredible paranormal element, which wasn't really the case here. The Upside Down World is no longer a novel concept and it's rarely even ventured to anymore. Eleven is separated from the rest of the cast for a majority of the season, and even when she does come back, we don't really see much of her time spent with everyone else. The ginormous shadow monster we've all been constantly seeing in the trailer never really does anything the entire season with the exception of, well, possessing Will. And that's pretty much the entire plot of season 2, trying to get Will rid of his possession. Instead of the shadow monster, we get the shadow monster dogs, or as Dustin calls them, demi-dogs. And they just weren't really all that scary to begin with, and easily defeated with a couple of bullets. Basically, they had nothing on the demi-gorgon from season 1. Of course, having said all of that, while Season 2, in my opinion, is nowhere near as enjoyable as Season 1, it is a still a pretty good season when you compare it to other shows out there. It was nice to finally tie up the Barbara side story, and the Bob character was a pleasant surprise. Not to mention it was fun to see everyone again since the events of Season 1. However, personally, I would have preferred had Stranger Things been just an anthology series instead like having us visit a different small town each season with something strange and paranormal happening there, along with a different cast of characters. That way you can keep it fresh and interesting each season, especially with the different threat they may face. Unfortunately, Stranger Things didn't opt to go that route, and in my opinion, that's a missed opportunity. Now I want to know what you all thought and whether you agree or disagree with my likes and dislikes. Let me know in the comments down below. But that'll do it for my review. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.